So the fundamental premise we started, uh, founded Isima was on that uh, machine learning is not democratized. It's, there are only 15 to 20 companies in the world who can monetize data. Whereas if you look at healthcare, if you look at uh, education, if you look at government, um, they are kind of the have-nots of data in many ways. And our view was that it's, whether it's my doctor in Stanford or the kid where the school where my kid goes to, they should all be benefiting from machine learning and AI. And that's essentially the core foundation of ISIMA. So it's a horizontal platform. Uh, we are building an operating system for machine learning. Instead of building cookie can products, we are trying to say, how can we take the same mindset of an operating system that in 1960s, an operating system was born and it democratized access to applications. That's what we want to do. We are building an operating system for machine learning so that machine learning can go live in weeks as opposed to months and years and quarters. So the keynote that I'm giving is something which has been near and dear to my heart. Uh, you know, I've born and brought up in India, I went to Silicon Valley, stayed there for two decades, and I saw how uh, data was used in the frontier world before the word big data existed. You know, I was lucky enough to put machine learning in production in 2006. And I've been watching the app evolution grow in, uh, in, in India, you know, with the flip cards and make my trips and all that. And I'm trying to say that the next decade is all about platforms. It's not about just apps. Uh, and those platform companies, you know, whether it's Google, whether it's Amazon, whether it's Facebook, uh, how can the startups of India become the platforms of India? So that's the keynote that I'm going to talk about. Actually, that's a very brilliant question. We, so I'm going to talk tomorrow about the specifics of how that will happen. We believe that we will be the engine for these startups to become the platforms of India. And instead of building shrinkwrap products and you know, going through all these artificial metrics about um, you know, conversion rates and growth metrics and all that, that has been useful for the last decade. Uh, the next decade lies in building a common data platform across everybody. And how can a junior engineer with two years of experience put machine learning in production without lots of math? Because like it or not, there are only 10 companies in the world who have armies uh, of people and the rest of us don't. So for them, we are building a product for those folks. So naturally, we, in fact, that's one of the things that I'm going to talk about, the technology innovations in India. You know, we had services, we had apps, we had products, and we'll have platforms. And purely because we have had the heritage of services, obviously there will be a services kind of area around it, but my personal view is that that doesn't work. In fact, that's actually fundamentally what I'm going to talk about, which is how does Google do AI? How does Facebook do AI? How does all of these platform companies, which have been tremendously successful, do AI? Um, and none of them look like anything that we are doing today, right? They, they, are, they don't follow most of the founding principles that we are doing today, we don't, Google doesn't do. Uh, even though we are all drinking from that mothership, uh, but we are actually not learning anything from it. Here's a key question that I'm going to ask everybody. How many data science jobs does Google have on its portal? Zero. Google doesn't hire a data scientist. That's the simple reality today, but we keep on talking about data science. Right? So you really need to rethink how uh, that thing is done. And few, obviously, there will be a lot of snake oil sellers that will grow up in the AI world. In fact, at least in Silicon Valley, they're calling it the midlife crisis of AI, ML, big data, whatever. Um, but it's very important that platform companies don't fall prey to that mindset and actually start building things. That's one of the main things, which is you don't outsource things. You actually start building. But you have to be careful about what you build. You can't build everything. So that's what we are trying to build, which is we give you the operating system, you build the brain on top of it.